Tugly's back, baby! So yeah, as you can see, Tugly's back. I've actually missed uploading these kind of reaction videos and rant videos and gaming videos and just the worst content possible. I know I said I was changing the channel to like a vlog channel, but I'm gonna upload the vlogs on a different channel probably. Um, I just really miss Tugly videos and I miss interacting with the Tugly fans. So, we're back. Anyways, today, we're gonna be reacting to the Liminal Land uh, VHS found footages. If you don't know what Liminal Land is, we're gonna get into all that. No worries. Good to have you here. Hope your day's going great. So as far as I know, Liminal Land was made by Nexpo and Nick Crowley, who were two people I watch on YouTube. And pretty much, it's just this really liminal ARG that revolves around liminal spaces and a theme park. So, I'm going to read you exactly like what it is and all that stuff, in case you don't know. And then we're going to watch the found footages, um, the first three, and then we'll, we'll react to the next one in the next video, because I don't want to make this one too long. So, this is the Liminal Land website. Um, it's just visit liminalland.net. But this is what Liminal Land is in the About Liminal Land uh, tab. As you can see, it's full of these weird looking um, liminal spaces. I think it's used AI to make these, but they do look very scary. But uh, it says, Liminal Land opened its doors in the early winter of 1975, destined to become one of the grandest amusement parks in the USA. Sharon Corporation set out to push the boundaries of what it meant to provide immersive entertainment. To this day, it is unclear how exactly Liminal Land garnered such a passionate and sizable audience so quickly. Kind of like Brugley. As the town of Lake Valley has historically had a relatively small population. Regardless, ticket sales have exploded from day one, much to the credits of large families who flew in from all over the world to experience Sharon's experimental vision. From the beginning, Liminal Land was always embedded with one mission, to dethrone Disneyland as the go-to destination for thrill seekers of all ages. Not that hard to do, Disneyland kind of sucks if I'm being honest. Coasters that evoked emotion a multi-tiered water park, and a massive underground suburbia were among the experiences being tested while the park was open. And to this day, debates are plentiful on whether Sharon actually achieved their goal of industry dominance. It's rumored that Disneyland was relatively empty throughout the 1980s. However, Disney loyalists will consistently deny that. No matter which way you look at it though, the impact of Liminal Land's existence was always clear and at least for a brief while, it appeared that the park wasn't ever going anywhere. As you can see some of these pictures, pretty unsettling. Park goers seemed avid to serve as test subjects for their experimental rides, and it felt like no one ever batted an eye. Regardless of the numerous accidents that took place over the years, there was never a single investigation, audits, or inspection ever credibly done. What Liminal Land touted as anomalous events were simply tarped off for a day and reopened thereafter with not a single word about them. Getting pretty weird, as you can see. For 14 years, the park operated in this bizarre manner. People went missing, rides consistently changed, and the park staff were always apathetic about it. Yet, Liminal Land's popularity paradoxically appeared to grow. Unfortunately, on May 20th of 1989, Liminal Land's Day of Reckoning had come. That night, the park was rapidly and indefinitely shut down, with no concrete reason ever given. The remains of those present on that fateful night are rumored to remain exactly where they were last seen. Although no one really knows for sure. Theme park preservationists are keen to keep the spirit of liminal land alive, however. There has been nothing like it for decades, and probably never will. Lose yourself in liminal land. So yeah. Pretty cool, little ARG type deal. But Lake Valley, I think is in New Mexico. We can check that real quick. Yeah, so that Lake Valley is real. We should go there. This is the Liminal Land YouTube channel. Um, there are several found footages. We're gonna react to these first three right here. But we're gonna start with the LVVT Channel 5 sign off, 1988, missing persons. Let's see what we can get into here. Pretty excited. Ladies and gentlemen, our national anthem. Hope I don't get copyrighted for this. Margaret Mar Margaret Jacobson, call 505-666-4075. Missing. Okay, is that the only person missing? Oh. Frank Strother. Call 505-666-4075. Yeah, look at Frank. Frank's cheesing right now. He wasn't uh 
don't think he was planning on going missing, was he? Angie Munoz. A very unsettling picture. I, that, that's like, I mean, I think that's AI. Obviously, that's weird looking. Sherry Travis. People are all missing. Where'd they go? Somewhere in Limited Land, I assume. Marco Donez? Kid just wanted to go to the theme park, man. Herman Reed. I'm sure if I called that number, it'd be like some of the ARG, but do I really want to call the number? No. Roger Elliott. Angel Angela Hawthorne. Lisa Stanton. That's probably the first, like, most realistic looking one, to be honest. So this was the like the sign off of the the news station because back in the day the news stations used to do sign offs or whatnot and I guess they showed the missing persons after it. So yeah, that was pretty creepy. Those people are indeed missing. I do have to say I, I confirm. There. Let's check out the next video. The company training tape. Visitor satisfaction. I wasn't recording the whole time. All right, let's watch it again, boys. Liminal Land. Home video. I like this little beat. I'm gonna sound like a schizophrenic because I literally said this all when I wasn't recording. Welcome to Liminal Land! Orientation Course 6. We are so grateful to have you join our team, and we hope we've given you a warm and memorable welcome this far. Thanks, that's how, how nice of you. That's really kind. As you've seen, we pride ourselves in ensuring that each visitor's experience is nothing short of positive. In this tape, we hope to teach you how to spot dissatisfied customers. It's pretty, pretty creepy. That they're uh, they're looking for dissatisfied customers. I yeah, I do believe this is a dissat. She is screaming, or I can't tell actually. Is that a? I don't know who that is or what that is. The, oh, it's a person! Thanks for telling me. I appreciate that, Lemon Land. You try. Look at the photo. I think this one looks dissatisfied to me. I mean, she's that's that's terrifying. Like, what, what's the face? Yeah, look at that. Look at that. I'm right. Dissatisfied customer. Got to got to kick him out. Look at the photo. He doesn't look dissatisfied. He's kind of just sliding down the slide, bro. Guess I think he's dissatisfied. This is a person. Yeah, it is. It is a person. Look at the photo. Dude, what in the world? That is like demonic, dude. That's creepy. I'm not sure that is a person, actually, buddy. Look at the photo. Look at the photo. This one right here looks dissatisfied. Or maybe that one. Yeah, I mean, considering the mouth is like popping out of her face, I would say she is dissatisfied. Look at the photo. Pretty, oh, we don't get to see which one was dissatisfied. That's crazy. The park is a... I'm sure that was meant to say the park is alive. So to me, it almost seems like this park is trapping people here on purpose. Just the vibe I'm getting. These people kind of look like they're being swallowed up by a hallway, if I had to guess. Dissatisfied customers, I see them. That, yeah, those are people. Hello? If you encounter a dissatisfied visitor, be sure to make their day by suggesting additional park activities. How nice of the employees at Liminal Land. When you're ready, inform your, pa inform your manager to initiate course seven with passcode right. At Liminal Land, a happy visitor is a forever visitor. So yeah, it seems like they kind of trap people here. It's kind of what it seems like to me. I don't know anything about it, but I feel like feel like they want to trap people. I mean, that's kind of sus. A forever visitor? I mean, sounds to me like people aren't leaving. Liminal Land. All right. That was pretty cool. I do have to say, uh, we'll react to these two in the next video. I actually haven't watched any of that. I don't know why it's red, but we'll check these out in their own videos since they're longer, but I really enjoyed this so far. I also am really just enjoying Liminal Spaces in general, and it's pretty cool to see an ARG about that. 
But it's like, I feel like the liminal spaces are kind of having a renaissance right now. I feel like they're getting more popular and they're getting better, especially like in the back rooms and this kind of thing. So hope you're hyped to have Toogly back. I'm hyped to be back. Hope you all enjoyed watching. Liminal Land's cool. I might buy some merch from there, actually. It's pretty dope. But um, leave the website and all the videos in the description. Thanks so much for watching. Love and appreciate all you. I'll see you later. Peace.